In this video, um, I wanted to show you how you can use Excel or Google Sheets to basically um, compute math problems for you. So I made some problems up and I wanted to show you, so these are the four problems I made up, and I wanted to show you how you can use Excel to get those values. So every formula in Excel starts with an equal sign. When you press an equal sign, you'll see it actually comes up with this little um, I don't know what you would want to call it, bracket, and um, what you can do is now you're typing a formula. So I can type in formulas with numbers. So if I want to do 18 plus 2 minus 0.4, I can do 18 plus 2 minus 0 0.4, press enter, and I'll get the answer, 19.6. Um, Google Sheets follows order of operations. So if I want to do 5 plus 3 in parentheses divided by 8 plus 4 in parentheses, it's going to do 5 plus 3 first, which is 8, 8 plus 4 second, which is 12, and then do 8 divided by 12, which is 2 thirds or 0.66666 repeating. So equals parentheses 5 plus 3. Okay, now you can see it actually grouped, divided by, and the division key is the slash key, which is where the uh, question mark is, divided by 8, whoops, 8 plus 4. And actually shows you, even before you present her, what the result of the formula would be. So now, if I write that same set of computations without the parentheses, it would look like this, and I get 9.375. That's because the computer is doing order of operation, so it's doing 3 divided by 8 first, and then adding 5 and 4. So just as a similar thing here, so let's say if f of x was x squared minus 3x, find f of negative 4. By the way, the caret means to exponentiate. In other words, that the 2 is really an exponent. So if I wanted to find f of negative 4, I would write equals. Well, I have to plug in negative 4 wherever I see an x using parentheses around the x. So I have negative 4 in parentheses squared. You see it says equal 16 minus 3 times... So the asterisk, which is shift 8, is the, is, or the star, if you want to call it, is multiplication. 3 times negative 4. Press enter, I get 28. So that's how we can use formulas um, with actual numbers plugged in to get answers. Okay, simple enough. Now, what I would like, what normally happens in Excel, is you do things based on input data. So you wouldn't necessarily, you wouldn't normally write something like 18 plus 2 minus 0.4. What you would normally do is use, is have data in cells, and you would reference the data. So for example, here equals, well, 18 is in D row, uh, sorry, column D in row 12. So if I clicked on this, it would give me D12. And then I could add to that 2, which is G13 minus 0.4, which is in D13. And if I press enter, I get that. So this took D12. So this formula took D12. In fact, if you click on the formula bar, so if you click the formula, if you click the cell, and then you go up to the formula bar, it'll show you, it'll high, kind of trace out which cells it's operating on. Now, if I go in and change the cell, so let's say this becomes a 20 for some reason, and this becomes 0.7, this number is going to change. In fact, that's what's really nice about using the cell references rather than the numbers that we use, the actual numbers, because if the cells change, then the formula will change, which is great. So 18, and we're going to actually see an example of this in the next video. Okay, anyway, I'll change it back to what we had before. So let's say I want to do 5 plus 3 in parentheses divided by 8 plus 4 in parentheses using our formulas this would be equal parentheses. My 5 is in F13, 5 plus, oh, sorry, F12, I should say, 5 plus 3 divided by 8 plus 4. Oh, and I, now if I press enter, I don't get the right answer because I forgot to insert my parentheses. This should be 0.6667. Okay, good. And now I'll do it the same for this problem, 5 plus... Here I would need to do 3 divided by 8 plus 
4. And I got my 9.375. And here, I want to do f of x equals x squared minus 3x. I want to find f of negative 4. So I would do parentheses. My negative 4 is in e, e12. And I want to square that. Minus 3 times parentheses e12. Now, in math, you don't have to put the time symbol. I should just point this out. But if you don't, it comes back in, in Excel, it comes back with an error. So anytime you're multiplying, you need to use that multiplication symbol. Okay? So now what you're going to do is in the file of 1.2, you're actually going to do the practice of video one. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your initials. So if you look on this sheet, each one of you has your own copy in this sheet. And you're going to, so if I'm Joe Berardi, I'm going to go to Joe Berardi and I'm actually going to do these problems. And it'll actually tell you if you're correct or not. All right, very good. Enjoy.